It was Easter Sunday in 2012 when Grace McComas took her own life because of cyberbullying. Seven years later, a bill with her name on it gets an upgrade. Grace's parents were in Annapolis today to witness the bill signing. WMAR 2 News' Don Harrison joins us now with more on Grace's Law 2.0. And finally, we're enacting Grace's Law. That is Governor Larry Hogan before he signed 195 bills into law. One of them is Grace's Law 2.0. The law was named after Grace McComas, a 15-year-old that committed suicide after constant online harassment. Grace's parents, Chris and Dave McComas, were on hand for the bill signing. Grace's mother recounts how vicious the online bullying was for her daughter. I hate, 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 hate you. I hope you see this and cry yourself to sleep and then kill yourself. There is no changing the past, but this can change the future for other families. This will protect future children from the types of things that we couldn't protect her from. We've kind of democratized content, so now everybody has the power in their own hands, and there's no more, you know, you don't have an editor behind you, and people can say whatever they want to a wide audience, and something has got to control that. All over the place with this keyboard courage, you know, a bunch of cowards sitting in their basement in the dark. You know. Senator Bobby Zirkin was the Senate sponsor of the bill, which cleaned up a few loopholes from the previous law. Now you don't have to wait for several occasions of online abuse to report it to police. One message and you can act immediately. Somebody is sending out horrific things about a child. That family, the victim's family and the child can walk into court and get a peace order. So it can get it stopped right then and there. A stronger law that may make it better for all. If they have a deterrent that might actually have some, you know, weight to it, that can help hopefully. We'll curb some of that behavior. It's that it matters how you act in public life. It matters how you, what you say to people and what your words are. In Annapolis, Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News.